Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the Mr. DGM YouTube channel and we are back at it again with another squad builder video and more specifically I'm bringing you a 100k team featuring player of the month Pookie and it is a BPL slash Bundesliga hybrid. So uh, the formation I have chose is 4-5-1 however I do actually change in game uh, we'll get onto that a bit later on. But let's just jump straight into this. So kicking things off in between the sticks, I've actually decided to go with the 82 rated Buarman. I think that's how you say his name. Now you can go with any Bundesliga goalkeeper and there's actually quite a lot of uh, good options to go with in terms of goalkeepers from the Bundesliga. I went with this guy. I thought he did okay. He's nothing sensational though. I will say he is fairly average. So in the right back position, uh, I went with Lucas Piszczek and I think this guy's a very reliable right back, especially for the start of FIFA 20. He'll do a solid job for you and uh, that's all you really need at the start anyways. So we're moving on to the two centre backs, starting off on the right hand side with the 79 rated Conate, I think that's how you say his name. Again, not too sure. My pronunciation of players' names is not great. But this guy is a very overpowered centre-back. There's no doubt about it. 6 foot 4, 78 pace, 80 defending, 78 physicality. Really overpowered. Definitely worth using. So alongside him in the centre-back position, we have got Jerome Boating. And uh, I've actually used this guy quite a few times now already. And uh, I think he is actually a really good centre-back. Yes, he lacks a little bit of pace, but... I still think he's good enough, for, especially for a starter team, worth getting. So, uh, yeah, moving on to the left-back position now. We've got the 77-rated Wendell. And I think this guy is an OK left-back. He's got pretty decent pace. Physicality and defending's OK. I wouldn't say it's anything too great. But, yeah, overall, decent so we're moving on to the uh, central midfield position and it is going to be the uh, 84 rated Leon Goretzka and this guy really did impress me, a very good box to box midfielder. If you look at his card he's got a well balanced, well rounded uh, stats really, no real weaknesses to his game so yeah definitely worth getting Goretzka in the team. So we're moving on to the left midfield position and it is actually going to be the 84 rated Felipe Anderson. This guy really did impress me. Four goals, five assists in five matches. That is one hell of a return. This guy is really overpowered. So uh, yeah, couldn't recommend this guy enough. So moving on to the right midfield position and we have got the 82 rated Thorgan Hazard. And I thought this guy was okay. He didn't really impress me too much though. He only got two assists in the five matches. So not too uh, good of a return really. But he has got a nice card. 85 dribbling, 82 pace 80 passing so some decent stats there maybe on another day he could have got a better return so moving on to the uh, left cam position and we have actually got a central midfielder in the team and it is going to be Lucas Torreira now you will need to convert him to at least a central midfielder to get him on uh, good chem but uh, as a CDM which is where I used him in game he is really good great energy great at cutting the passing line so yeah definitely recommend getting Torreira in the team so we're moving on to the right cam position. We've got the 84 rated Mesut Ozil. Now you might be thinking, why have I gone with Ozil? He's not that good. Uh, but for me, he played absolutely world class. Six goals, four assists in five matches. I don't know whether it's because I'm an Arsenal fan and I'm a fan of Mesut Ozil that I play well with him or whether everyone plays well with Ozil. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, for me, he was absolutely sublime. One of the best players I've actually used so far in FIFA 20. He was that good. But maybe he won't play as well for you. It might just be a thing that I play well versus, I'm not too sure. But up front now, we have got the main man himself, player of the month, Timu Puki. And this guy really did impress me. Seven goals, three assists in five matches, one hell of a return. And he's an absolute steal. I think it cost me 22,000 coins to get a player of the month card, which is... Such great value for money, so definitely worth getting Pookie if you haven't already. And if you already own Pookie, I'm sure you know what he's all about by now. So as you can see there, every player's on at least eight chemistry. If you converted all the players to the correct positions and then played 10 matches with the team, every player would be on 10 chemistry. So uh, in-game, I did change the formation. I actually went with 4-2-3-1 with the three cams. So as you can see here, I would have Goretzka and Torreira as the two CDMs, Meza Ozil as the central cam, 
Philippe Anderson as the left cam with Thorgan Hazard as the right cam and of course Timo Pukki up front. So for the custom tactics uh, they are as you can see on screen I've been using these custom tactics for a very long time. Use them if you want to. I thought they did actually suit this team very nicely so yeah it's up to you if you want to use them or not. So for the player instructions I told Pukki to stay central, get in behind, stay forwards. I think he's got good enough pace to be able to play as the striker that gets in behind but you could just leave him as a mixed attack if you wanted to but yeah I told him to get in behind. So for all three of the cams get into the box across free roam. Uh, I thought that worked really nicely, all the uh, three cams interchanging and linking up very nicely. And then for the two CDMs, cut the pass lane, stay back while attacking and to cover the centre. I have to say, Goretzka and Torreira really, really were sublime as uh, a central defensive midfield partnership. Great energy in the midfield. And then for the both of the fullbacks, I would just tell them to uh, stay back while attacking as well. So those are the play instructions for this 100k team. So we are moving on to my highlights using this team in Division Rivals and I have to say this is by far the best team that I've used so far on FIFA 20. I thought defensively it was really solid. I thought Torreira and Goretzka really were great in that midfield because they're both got pretty good pace. I think that might be the key to uh, Fever 20. Having pace in the midfield is very important, I think. Felipe Anderson, Meza Ozil, Pookie, they did so well for me going forward, so I couldn't really recommend this team anymore. I think it really is a great 100k team. Now, uh, as always, you guys can rate the team out of five, so let me know what you thought of it. And uh, if you guys do want me to make some more squad builders, feel free to put some suggestions in the comments below and uh, let me know what team you want me to make. And uh, finally, guys, if you can drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it, and uh, if you could subscribe to the channel if uh, you are new, uh, I would hugely appreciate that. But yeah, guys, uh, that is just going to be about it from me for today. So I'll catch you in the next video.